Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a cool vocal delay effect. I'm sure you've heard it in a lot of different pop songs and other genres of music. This is the effect. You want my time? I'll play it again, just the end of it. Time. It's not too hard to achieve. To begin with, you're going to take the snippet of audio that you want to work with. You want my time? And as you can see, I didn't want the effect on the whole phrase, so I just cut off the last word because I wanted the effect to be at the very end and just repeat the last word time. Tom. So these are on different tracks, but they're processed exactly the same, except this has a little bit more vocal effect on it, and I'll get to that. So after you've separated your audio into two separate tracks, one of the easiest ways to do this, by the way, is to take the main verse that you're using and just duplicate it and then take everything off it except for the segment that you want to add the effect on. Once you're done that, go back to your other window. You're going to create two aux tracks if you don't already have them for your effects. I have just regular reverb and then I have the end delay for the tail end of the verse. The whole verse is processed with the reverb but only the last word time is processed with the delay. So I sent the, the tail end through a bus to the reverb effect for the reverb. So for the reverb, it's about four and a half seconds long for the decay, about 61% wet. I put a delay on after that too, about 50 milliseconds for one channel, 52 milliseconds for the right. It's a little bit different so that it creates more of a stereo image where it's not actually a stereo signal. Now on the delay for the time, I sent the tail end of the verse through a bust, five and six. So it's sent right here. And then for the effects, four and a half seconds, 61% wet again. Then I have the delay, this time 400 milliseconds and it's set to both channels the same. EQ, I cut out everything around 600 Hertz and below because that just muddies up the mix. You don't need that for any time-based effects such as reverb and delay. Then I actually side-chained my verse to the reverb and the delay through the bus three. You make sure the side chain is turned on if you're using this plugin. It's about a ratio of four to one, a pretty quick attack and a long release. When you side-chain your vocals to your reverb, it's dynamic reverb. The reason for this is that the vocals will push down the effect whenever your voice gets louder. It helps clear up the mix so that the reverb doesn't overtake the mix. So this is what it sounds like with just the verse reverb. You want my time? Now, as you can see, there's no delay yet. When you put in the second track, it has a 400 millisecond delay. That is when you get the delay. You want my time? You want my time? It's a pretty simple effect, but it's really effective, and you're going to hear it in a lot of different music. Try this out in your own track.